hi there guys welcome to my channel um if you're new here don't forget to subscribe but yeah today um i just want to get straight to the point and what i'm going to be talking about so this is something that i've never mentioned on my channel before but something that i've struggled with for many years um and this is going to be about my pcos story and um how i was diagnosed and also how i lost 28 kg so far still on the journey but yeah how i've lost 28 kg so far so first and foremost is um i just wanted to explain to you guys what PCO, uh, pcos is and what it stands for so pcos is polycystic ovary syndrome um and what it stands for is obviously polycystic ovary syndrome but <laughs> uh, what i mean is what uh, pcos is is basically you end up having sac like fluids like in your ovaries um which can affect like your period and a lot of other things um and we'll get more into that later so in today's video um i'm mainly going to be talking about my own journey with pcos but in the future i do want to go more in depth about like pcos and you know many other things about it because over this journey i've had to learn a lot of new things and with pcos is it's not plain and simple it's not something that you kind of just you know already written about in books is something that's new and many people are actually getting diagnosed with it and there's more and more women that are getting diagnosed with it and there's more research and more new things coming out with it so yeah that's something that i definitely want to go more in depth but today i'm definitely going to be talking about how i lost 28 kg how i was diagnosed and maybe how you could be diagnosed too so let me first talk about how it all started how this whole journey ended up leading to this point now um so i used to look like this and now i look like this or like this i think if you go in my previous videos you'll end up seeing that there is obviously an incredible change in the way that i look um meaning like face wise because uh, i never posted a lot of body stuff like on hair because i was so self-conscious um but yeah these are like the two differences that you can see and this is a difference of 28 kg so um i actually initially weighed in 2019 if i believe 2019 or 2020 i weighed 103 kg really bad um yeah it was a place that i was really depressed i didn't want to go outside i didn't want to do a lot of things but now i'm here and uh I'm still kind of depressed it's it's okay i think it's part of this and uh part of life but i feel so much more better just knowing what was wrong with me and all this kind of stuff but anyways um let's get straight to um where it all started and how it all started and how i got to the you know the diagnosis of like this i have pcos so as a normal girl it might be early it might be late but I started my period in year six um so i was around i think 11 years old i think when you're in year six you're around 11 years old um but yeah i started my period and since the very beginning my period was always irregular like i would have my period but it would never be every month it would be every two to three months it was skipping so often and i remember the like first time that i had it and then the second time i had it I was thinking did i even have my period the first time around because you know what was that like you know i haven't had my period like every month and um you know this is something that me and my mom ended up being concerned by and so we ended up going to the doctors now that we mentioned to the doctors what i was going through um they just said you know let's um do an ultrasound of your ovaries and find out what's actually happening and so i was probably around 13 and 14 when I actually went to doctors because you know this whole period thing was just not normal um so I went to the doctors and they ended up finding out that I had cysts in my ovaries that's what they mentioned to me that I had cysts in my ovaries um when you actually check the pictures or whatever it's basically sacs on your ovaries um and it can be many or it can be just a couple now what I can think of this time is that there wasn't a lot of research done underneath this um and they basically said that either one i had to lose weight or two i had to go on the pill 
and obviously do that together um and because it wasn't normal for a girl to not have a period i was like well i do want my period back so let's let me go on the pill um and i did start going on the pill now after taking this pill my period did come back but i had the worst side effects i was basically not one like just i was always overweight but i was obviously gaining weight and on top of that like if anyone like any woman has taken the pill you know how bad the side effects are and i was around 12 um not 12 sorry 13 14 and i wasn't taking it because i was you know sexually active i was taking it because i wanted my period to come back it was probably the worst side effects that i could have gone through and i actually decided to stop taking it and because i decided to stop taking the pill that meant that my periods were irregular again one of the main things and the main topics that i kind of want to mention is me being overweight since i was very young i've always been very overweight and because of me being overweight i actually generally thought that because i was fat i i had this you know this type of disease that there was something wrong with me because i made choices that made me fat um and honestly after i stopped taking the pill and i was having irregular periods what actually ended up happening is i put a lot of weight on i also didn't have a very healthy relationship with my body um and it meant that i was starving myself to lose weight and i was depressed most of the time there was a moment in my life where um i reached a certain age when i was in secondary school it was around year nine ten i was around 14 i would say i was around 15 years old um where i was really depressed with the way i looked and obviously blame myself for many things especially having this irregular periods and i felt like it's because of how i was eating so i started starving myself and it did end up making me lose weight and actually it did bring my period back but it was the most unhealthiest way of doing things and just because it brought my period back didn't mean that i was doing it healthily um and then it came to a point where i started eating healthily and um I put on a ton of weight because I wasn't eating a lot before. It was a lot of ups and downs um, and it was a, a roller coaster in the beginning. Honestly, I had no idea what PCOS was. I didn't know what the diagnosis of having cysts on my ovaries even meant. Just that I had to blame myself and I took it very hard on myself and I felt like I had to be harsh on myself and it was my fault. So when I was around 21, um, I actually at that point didn't have my period for three years. I generally that felt like that I was not going to have babies, I was going to go through menopause. I mean, it was probably the worst outcome that could have happened, but I kind of made myself feel like that's it. Like I'm not going to get my period after this and I'm going through menopause, so just deal with it. This was also the moment where I had put on a ton of weight. I was probably... I was at my heaviest and um I was 103 kg but I did feel like enough was enough and I tried to do exercises and I tried to go on a diet and I tried to eat properly but nothing was working instead either one I was putting on weight or two it just stayed the same so I was like what's the point of even trying and then I actually saw this uh, YouTube video by Rachel Ost I don't know if that's how you say her name but like this I'm just gonna put her at here um yeah i ended up seeing her youtube video about her it was like a, a pcos related youtube video and i just clicked on it and every single symptom she had i had and um i ended up finding out that oh there's this thing called pcos that doesn't make you have your periods and it can make you put on weight and you can also have insulin resistance and you can also have this and that it was very like a moment of realization that I have something but the doctors didn't really diagnose me for it properly um, so here I am second time going to the doctors letting them know my period hasn't come for three years it's been long and they were like okay let's do another ultrasound so they did another ultrasound they found out the same thing and they said I have cysts in my ovaries so it was the same thing again that they were telling me this time they didn't mention about the weight loss thing and also they didn't mention about the pill so um instead i mentioned hey do you think i might have pcos 
I think the first time when I got diagnosed it wasn't a woman and like this time around when I got you know actually diagnosed with PCOS it was a woman she actually mentioned yeah it seems like you do have PCOS but it was so upsetting for me that I had to bring it up for them to actually tell me that I have PCOS that I have something in that I can actually do something about it you know like otherwise before I was just living underneath a rock thinking that this was all my fault and most of the time women feel like this because they feel like how are they doing everything how are they eating the bare minimum and they're not able to lose weight how come they don't have a period and they just blame themselves for for this because every single woman that they kind of look around and see they have their regular periods they have you know they can eat whatever the hell they want they can lose weight they have no issues like that and so we usually sit here and we blame ourselves for it and that's something that i did to myself for many years until i was finally diagnosed so one of the things that my um doctors put me on my gp they put me on metformin and they actually mentioned that this was a kind of like a newer treatment that they were doing for pcos so as you can tell by this that pcos has is <laughs> so kind of uh being investigated in a way like they don't know properly about it because this was a new treatment when i started taking metformin um well that's what they mentioned so now i kind of want to talk to you guys about um the symptoms before i actually tell you anything about how the results went from there okay so um symptoms that you might have that might end up helping you diagnose yourself and these were also some symptoms that i had the symptoms and really like um obvious symptoms that you can go for for is increased weight in such a quick time um and you could be eating them a salad every day you still be like gaining weight it doesn't matter like this is something that ends up happening when you have pcos second thing that you can have is hair loss so actually this is something that i didn't go through until afterwards um i have extreme hair loss like my hair used to be more fuller than this i now have hair falling out every day um even at this point and honestly for me i started facing it when i started taking metformin I don't know if that were, this is because of um, something that I'm lacking in my body but I did end up facing hair loss um, kind of like at the beginning part of like discovering I had PCOS also have hair in abnormal places like your chest like girls don't get hair on their chest underneath their chin um, like just around here um, also on the belly like you can end up getting hair and excessive hair in abnormal places that you shouldn't be getting it um, in and let me tell you I've always been hairy like since day one I have always been hairy I shouldn't have this much hair but unfortunately I do and it is a sad part of PCOS and it means like even one investing in an IPL or you know getting laser hair removal but yeah that is one thing that PCOS does kind of take over um, in and can affect your self-esteem quite a lot one of the biggest major thing is you get no period or irregular period so um as in my case i did have irregular period in the beginning um and then it went to me having no periods for years so yeah that is also one of the biggest symptoms that you can get it's also acne and insulin resistance um and also changes in your hormones but sometimes when it comes to with insulin resistance with uh, acne uh with um hormones they can all kind of be related to each other and you have to go get blood tests it's really important for you to get a blood test to be able to find out what type of pcos you have so there are many types of pcos you can have um i will explain this in a later video but in this one i want to mainly focus on how i got diagnosed one of the biggest things that you can notice when it comes to pcos and insulin resistance is actually when you start forming a dark circle around your neck so my neck used to be even more fat than this and i used to have a dark line that would go all the way from here all the way around and there's a ring also here i just basically ended up getting dark spots and that can really be a sign of insulin resistance or even pre-diabetes uh, pre or you can be pre-diabetic if i'm correct is that the correct term um but yeah you can basically end up being that and especially if you have PCOS and it's insulin resistance it means that you are more likely to end up getting 
diabetes so you really do have to start looking after yourself as soon as you get this diagnosis and which is why it's really important that your doctors do know about PCOS so now we're going to talk about how I lost weight and um how I've been trying to control my PCOS still working on it it's the most hardest journey ever but yeah I just really wanted to talk about this topic so one of the biggest reasons why I wasn't able to lose weight is because of my insulin resistance in relation to PCOS um I want to kind of put a disclaimer here when it comes to PCOS I don't want people to think that the only main factor that you should really focus on is losing weight unfortunately that was my main factor in the beginning because you know I was extremely overweight and it affected me so much and my self-worth and my self-esteem it wasn't there and honestly I was really depressed and that's one thing that drove me to find out that I had PCOS and you know wanting to improve myself um but yeah I just want to say disclaimer you know PCOS shouldn't just be about losing weight it should be about you know the health of your ovaries because it's kind of like PCOS is like diabetes like diabetes for your ovaries it's it can be fatal if it's not you know done correctly and you're not being diagnosed properly um, and it can lead to a lot of things like obesity and um you know having a lot of like really bad side effects that i started to face kind of like at the end of me being overweight when i was 103 kg um so let me explain kind of simply what insulin resistance actually can be described as so basically when you're let's say you're not insulin resistant you're just like this normal person what happens is when you when you have stuff like carbs in your food so you might have a sandwich um and your body will store the carbs in your body and then use it as energy to burn it off so you could be working out and it basically burns you know the the um carbs that you have in your body and doesn't store it as fats unfortunately when you have insulin resistance what happens is that your body doesn't do that your body straight away just stores it in your body and uh, leaves it as fat and even if you're exercising your it's not going to use it to um burn the carbs um or the fat and so what happens you're just eating carbs you're trying to work out but you're not going to lose weight and instead you just gain more and more weight and you're like wait a second why is this happening which is why one of the main reasons uh you have weight gain in PCOS and you end up noticing it. So one of the biggest things that I want to say is your weight gain during PCOS or if you are diagnosed with PCOS isn't your fault. Your body just can't control or act like a normal person's body. However, if you're not diagnosed, you really do take this on yourself and you end up having bad thoughts and get depressed and blame yourself for it. As I mentioned earlier, my uh gp actually prescribed me with metformin so if you don't know metformin is actually prescribed to people that are like diabetic as um what happens is they also don't have control over their insulin um so that's kind of like the same with pcos if you have insulin resistance why my gp prescribed me with metformin is because she noticed that i had weight gain she noticed that i did have like this dark circle over here and it's it's going to be due to um insulin resistance so when i was first put on um, metformin i was actually taking one tablet every day for i think two three weeks and i instantly noticed i was losing weight i didn't even have to work out um i was just losing weight i was checking my weight on the scale every time and i was just going down 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 and i was like oh my god this has never happened to me i was getting so happy that this was getting solved after two to three weeks um my GP mentioned that I can actually up it to two. So then I started taking two uh, for the next two to three weeks again. Um, and this is when I started to take it a bit more seriously. And so I started to eat much more healthier and I started to work out at the same time. That's great. So when I started to take uh, two tablets every day and was working out, Cons consistently um, when I meant working out I was basically um, kind of doing weights uh, with um, being on a bike um, I ended up sh like shedding so much weight um, I think within a span of three or four months I went from 
103 kg to around 95 to you know 90 kg so yeah that was it was really quick and it made me really happy because you know this was finally working i wasn't able to lose weight before and then it came to a moment where um i started to take three metformins um every every day and there was more weight loss but i was kind of stuck on 90 kg and it wasn't budging and i felt bad again because i was doing everything that i could have but why is it that i wasn't able to lose weight basically my breakfast lunch and dinner used to look like this i'd have a sandwich um and the sandwich would be like hummus with like or like just basically vegan bar with like cucumbers and tomatoes and lettuce and that's what i just have for breakfast and i'd have one and a half and then i'd do my workout and then for lunch i'd have a smoothie and then for dinner i wouldn't be so harsh on myself and so whatever there was to eat i'll just end up eating that and obviously when i was working out i was working out for at least half an hour to one hour um so yeah i just tried to keep that up but yeah i kind of carried on with working out because i just knew that was the best thing i could do for my body and honestly like as much as 90 kg is still so heavy for people I started to feel so much more confident with myself and was wearing stuff that you know I couldn't wear. Probably six, seven months went past and it was the summer of maybe 2020, I think. I think yeah, it's the summer of 2020. Um, I actually decided to go vegan. Um, I actually didn't know anything about going vegan and PCOS, but I have always been vegetarian and um I always wanted to go vegan so I was like let me go vegan so I went vegan for a month and I was taking three tablets of metformin every day and I, I mixed up my workouts so um, I was doing weights and I started to do some blog loggies. Um you can find her on YouTube her workouts are absolutely free and it was very like low like energy type of workouts where you're not pushing yourself so much and I ended up losing 10 kg within a month and that was really shocking for me because you don't understand i was away myself every day and somehow i was still losing weight so going vegan actually made me lose so much weight and afterwards i found out it's because dairy um doesn't help your body when you have pcos um it actually inflames your body and you can have a lot of bloating um with that um and makes you look even more bigger so yeah um one of the things that are recommended within the pcos thing is going vegan but i just did it somehow without even knowing and then after that one month my weight loss started to slow down and i'm at this point where now i'm like between 73 kg and 76 and i'm still trying to lose weight i'm not gonna lie i'm still trying to lose weight it's now 2022 it's been two years and you know i went from like 80 kg um in the summer of 2020 and i'm only down to like 73 to 75 kg and it goes up and down up and down because i'm still trying to figure out my body till this day is i've always tried to figure out and i put way too much importance on trying to lose weight because i have always been overweight and I would still be classed as being overweight even now because I'm only 4 foot 11 um, but like I never gave myself time to actually feel proud of the fact that I have PCOS and figuring out ways of losing weight or even just losing weight while you have PCOS is the most hardest thing that you can do. So far I have lost 28 kg, I would say 28 because you know sometimes I've gone from 73 to 75 but just because I'm stuck it doesn't mean that I've just kind of like stopped caring about working on myself because I realized that PCOS is probably one of the most hardest things that any woman can go through and be diagnosed with and they don't even know that they have it but yeah please do comment down below if you have any questions in relation to PCOS if you feel like you might have PCOS obviously I'm not the first person to go to to be diagnosed with I would 100% recommend that you go and see your GP and ask them for blood tests, ask them for ultrasounds and um, mention do you have PCOS because sometimes they don't even know that you have it so it really is sad the amount of people that actually don't know that this that PCOS exists and honestly um, what that means is that 
because people don't know they put you down for it and it's not something to be put down for um it's just something that is so hard for a woman to go through and they're not just going through obviously the weight gain they're going through hair loss they're going through excessive hair they're going through acne they're going through like mood swings it's like basically being a woman but a thousand times like exaggerated but yeah like i will definitely be making more videos in relation to this because this has been such a long and hard journey and i want to share it with people that probably are going through the same thing as me or just don't know and it's like <sighs> i mean like, there needs to be a community um in regards to this and yeah it's really hard but i know that a lot of people can do this because i can and i thought i would never be able to um but yeah i just want to let you guys know that to never fall alone i hope you guys have a lovely day um but i'll hopefully be back but see you guys later bye